his word today. Psalms 139. Will you have it? Say amen. 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 Y'all are a little quiet for me. Amen. I'm amen. used to a radical. <laughs> Some radical people give God a shout. When we call for the word, that's the time to get excited. Yes, yes, yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. Yes. amen. If it is your custom to stand for the reading of the word, please do so. Amen. We bless God. We bless God. Hallelujah. Psalms 139, I'm going to go to the 14th verse, as I was sitting, reading the word, and I said, man, this is good. <laughs> Amen. Psalms 139, verse 14, I will praise thee, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous I are thy works, and that my soul knoweth right well. My substance was not hid from thee when I was made in secret and curiously wrought in the lowest parts of the earth. Thine eyes did see my substance, yet being unperfect. And in thy book all my members were written, which in continuance were fashioned, when as yet there was none of them. How precious also are thy thoughts unto me. O oh God, how great is the sum of them. I'm going to ask you to look to your neighbor and tell them priceless. Priceless. Understand that the theme today is knowing your worth. And I heard someone say many times we don't know our worth. But if we indulge ourselves in the word of God, we will know what we're worth. Amen. Because it has already been predetermined, my work. And so Isaiah says it really well when he goes, says in 53, he says, but he was wounded for our transgression. He was bruised for our iniquity. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with his stripes, we are healed. All we like sheep have gone astray. We have turned everyone to his own way. And the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. I need you to reach over and tell your neighbor, priceless. Because society has determined worth by what we approve in life and the things that we attain in this life. But I want to encourage about 75 of you all today who will help me to let you know that our work was not determined before, our work was determined before we entered into what is called life. All right. Somebody will catch that on their way home. Understand that Jeremiah 1 states that before I formed you in the belly, I knew thee. And before you came forth out of the womb, I sanctified you and I ordained you. In other words, I had already determined what you were worth before I allowed you to enter into this chaotic world called Earth. Mm. So many times we talk about what something or someone is worth, and society has developed what it rumor, its rumor is to determine the worth of an individual. Uh -huh. And so when society says what I'm worth, do I understand that society does not have the capacity to determine my worth? Uh -huh. So the Miriam Dictionary decides, defines worth as the value of something measured by its qualities. The equivalent of a special amount or a specified amount or figure. Having assets or income equal to. In other words, it is something that is measurable according to me. But you ought to tell somebody prices. Prices. Society says work is determined by certain qualities assets and income accumulated and acquired in life. But with everything an individual could accumulate, no matter what size house you decide to buy, no matter what car you determine to purchase, no matter how many things you decide you want to accumulate in life, no matter how much is in your bank account, the things that you acquire in life, there is no tool created by man there is no mathematical equation or psychological theory that can calculate or cognitively determine my worth because Jesus has already determined that I'm priceless. Right. Come on. Work it. 
Uh -huh. I need to talk back to them. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah. You gotta tell somebody I'm priceless. I'm priceless. And if that neighbor don't respond right, you ought to turn to the next neighbor and tell them I am priceless. I understand that there are things that have happened in your life. And so when things happen, sometimes they want to say that your value depreciates. When you drive the car off the lot, they say it depreciates. The value of that diamond ring, when you take it out of the store, depreciates. Time you put it on your hand. Says what we must understand is that you have not perceived for yourself that there are situations that have come about in your life that you have not envisioned for your life. And there are some perceptions that people have concerning you and or your family and or your children that you never wanted attached to you. But you must understand that their perception does not diminish what you are about, what work. It does not diminish your value in Christ. Because one thing about it is, when Christ has said a thing, I already know that it's done. And so there are things in life that the enemy will use to try to intimidate you. There are things that he'll use to try to terrorize or threaten you. And there are things that he'll allow to come up that will humiliate you to be disgraced about who you are worth. But I come today to tell about a hundred of you this morning uh, that you are still priceless. Right. I can't hear no priceless right. people right. in the right. house this morning. Understand that life will throw us some curveballs. There's some things that happen in life that we can't change. Yeah. We just have to learn how to live with them. Yeah. Things don't always go the way that we play. Yeah. Our kids don't And there are things that, mistakes that happen and we didn't turn out the way that we even planned for ourselves Come to on. turn out. But one thing, understand that that was our plan. Because we can't change what happened. Jeremiah 29 says that, for I know the thoughts and the plans that I think toward you. Lord have mercy. Come on. the Lord. He said, thoughts of peace. So if you're wrestling in your mind this morning and, and you're going But to give you an expected end. Somebody ought to get right there. Because if you haven't got there yet, that means you still have some time in this earthly realm because God made you a promise. You are the sharp priceless. If you don't talk to your neighbor, sometimes you need to talk to yourself. You need to say, Sarah. And yourself won't say, huh? Sometimes you got to have a conversation with yourself because many of times people don't even see you feeling like you're worthless. They don't even hear the conversation your mind has going on and you have having mind battles about what's going on with you and why I'm not here and why I don't have this and why this had to happen. But what I come to tell you this morning that in spite of what has happened, you are still priceless.
this. All right. Woo. Yes. Understand that John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world, Lord have mercy, that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever. I come to tell you this morning that I'm a whosoever. And because I choose to be whosoever, that makes me priceless in the sight of God. He said, whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but they shall have You ought to tell yourself, in spite of what they think, I am priceless. But I come to understand this. Society has what they call Forbes magazine. Anybody heard of that magazine? And so this magazine tells us about all the people that they say are worth so much money. But in Forbes magazine, they've already determined that in 2018, Oprah Winfrey, was worth more than 2.9 billion. But about the same time, they had determined that Tiger Woods was worth about 800 million. And at the same time, they had determined that Barack and Michelle Obama was about 40 million. But I come to tell you today, I'm 
Son, we thank you for these young people. We ask you to look on each and every one this morning, God. Touch the hearts and the mind of your people. Father, we ask now that you would lift every burden according to your word. But you said, God, that you would be a burden bearer, God, a heaven no bearer, God, that you are a bright and morning star, God. You said that we think may endure for a night, God. But we know that joy is coming in the morning. So, Father, we speak the word over your people today, God. And we ask that you perform it in their lives, God. In the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you now, God. That even as they leave this place, God, I, I'm just crazy enough, God. I'm, I believe you enough, God. That even as they leave this place, God, that they will see a turnaround, God. They will see a change, God. That they will see the manifestation of your word. We give you praise, we give you glory, God. And we give you honor. In Jesus' mighty name. Young man that said, I'm going to have another surgery. Can I just pray with you?